Hello, this is Todd Luck, and this is a review of this Boss Barat figure. Uh, he is known as Boss Barat or Boss Robot in Mazinger Z. In Transor Z, which is the American version, he is known as Bobo Bot. Um, the character in, who rides him in Japan is called Boss, and the pilot in America is called Bobo. So he's called Bobo Bot in America. And that's why I'm going to be referring to him as here because I love him in Transor Z. And my God, is Bobo Bot the most fun thing to say ever. So we're going to be calling him Bobo Bot. But if you look him up, he's going to be under Boss Barat or Boss Robot. So I got him off of eBay and he came in with this packaging shipped to me like this. And so this is a series of little figures. This is not a gosh upon. This is actually comes, you know, just like this. So you don't have to assemble them or anything. But this is a series of figures on a four inch scale that are created by Gonagi. These characters were. And so you can see on the top row, this is your Mazinger Z figure. So you have Mazinger Z and Aphrodite A, which I've already reviewed, and then, of course, Boss Barat, or as I like to call him, the Bobo Bot. I assume this was probably a blind box sort of thing uh, where you would, you know, buy these boxes and you would get, you know, one of these figures randomly. But the joy of eBay is that you get to pick what you want and order it. And so let's take a look at Bobo Bot. So this is a comedic uh, robot in Mazinger Z or Transor Z. And so he looks, well, comedic. <laughs> I, I love his design. This really perfectly captures the way he looks in the anime. Um, of course, the anime is from the 70s. So, you know, he just really captures that kind of basic clean look that the cartoon had and uh it, it just looks like he just jumped right out of the screen so his arms move he can go all the way up and around with them and all that good stuff um there's no you know joints in the arms it's very basic articulation but he's made of kind of soft hollow sort of plastic so you can bend them, but I mean, you're not going to get them to stay like that. I mean, you might could sticky tack his fist to his chest or something, but you know, I'd be afraid that that might warp the plastic or something. But you know, it, he looks like a great toy for kids to play with. I mean, he, he, he seems pretty durable. Um, the only detail that's missing is on his arms. As you can see in the anime, his arms look like they're made out of a corrugated tubing as does his legs, so that's the only detail missing from the figure. But other than that, I think he looks great, and his waist also twists, so you can do poses like this, which is really, really cool. So you've definitely got some options. I mean, he can't bend his legs, but, but you know, it would be kind of cool to have uh, Bobo Bot sitting or something like that, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. So... Uh, one thing to note, though, he will have balance issues if you try to do this. So his arms are a bit heavy for him, but if you hold, hold them up all the way, and ta-da, so he can do that pose really well. He can do, you know, that and that really well. He just going to have some issues if you try to pose him like that, so... So our dear friend Bobo Bot here is a little over three inches tall. And so he's a little short for this series, which comes to about four inches tall. But that's natural because he is a shorter robot than Mazinger Z or Aphrodite A or Transor Z if you're in America. So that's perfectly in keeping with the character. And he looks great. He looks like he fits right in and is directly out of the anime when comparing him with Aphrodite A here who is in the same series so that's pretty much why I got him because I want to pose him with her and with another figure so here he is with the reaction figures I have from Mazinger Z and so the reaction figures are three and three quarter inches tall so he's going to be a little bit too big to be accurate to Mazinger Z, 
but he's going to be close enough to be passable with these figures. Um, if you do want a perfect Mazinger Z to put with him, there is a Mazinger Z in this same series that this boss Barak came from, so you can get that. But since I've already bought uh, a three and three quarter inch Mazinger Z, I think I'm going to go with that. We'll see. I'll be opening these reaction figures pretty soon, so I'll be doing a review and we'll see how I feel about it. So here he is with the buildings from the Godzilla Pack of Destruction figures that came out several years ago and also with a different Godzilla figure that's on a three and three quarter inch scale. Um, as you can see, he's a little bit big for a three and three quarter inch scale, but he's still passable. So overall, this is a figure I'd really highly recommend. I was a little worried he might be a little too small, but he's so wide that he really stands out. Like I'm walking into my living room and looking at the display I have on my TV stand across the room, and he just stands out. I just automatically know I have Bobo Bot on my mantle, man. And it's just really awesome. So I really love this figure. Obviously, there's a lot of different figures of Bobo Bot out there, and a lot of them are really expensive. But this is a pretty affordable alternative to, you know, your bigger, more expensive figures. This one ran me about $25, somewhere around there on eBay, so that's probably about the going price for him and Mazinger Z. Aphrodite A in that series was a little bit cheaper. So anyway, I have more reviews coming, including a review of Transor Z, the series, so like and subscribe for more videos, and until next time, just remember the Bobo Bot is the best robot ever. He is the best. Bobo Bot is awesome.